viewers welcome back to another video Havoc a trusted Android operating system you guys already know about that and this room always comes with stability and a trust actually personally I like that room and hope some of you guys also like that and after a long time I'm doing a review of Havoc OS and which is 4.10 version and official of course and very latest so now let's get into the business so first of all let me show you from the setting you guys can see here and about section you guys can see android version 11 of course and havoc always comes with stability i told earlier so that's why android 12 will, will come later but it will come with stability so wait for that and of course this is Android 11 and you know about that and they are using here their own kernel you guys can see Havoc OS Plus and Android security update October 1 so which is also latest no issues on that and C Linux status is enforcing and you guys can see the build date and build number as well if you want to enable the developer option then just uh, keep tapping on build number And here you guys will get a developer option if you want to check your uh, used memory or uh, the free memory you guys can check here no problem and after that we have uh, built-in gfs I, i'm using the gfs version actually and if you guys want to use vanilla version then also available then you guys can choose according to your uh, choice any gfs no problem and I, I recommend you if you have 2GB RAM in your device then of course use the vanilla version then that will be helpful for you and after that we have install oil being working no problem accessibility accounts and security of course we have everything like face unlock app locker everything and this working pretty much fine no issues on that and sound section everything like as before you guys already know about there are so many customizations available and battery section and after installing this ROM you need to uh, charge it two three cycles and you need to complete two three cycles then charging will be fixed automatically that's not a charging issue charging speed is pretty much faster and it's working pretty much fine and the battery draining issue uh, when I flashed it for the first time and in first night I got a uh, two three percent battery drain and I will show it later in this video and after using one or two days uh, it will automatically fixed so I can recommend you guys no problem so no issues on battery backup and here you guys can see the display settings live display is working pretty much fine you guys can enable the reading mode and color calibration and color uh, picture you guys can adjustment uh, just any colors no issues on that and screen timeout dark night uh, dark mode and screen attention uh, the new feature in attention you guys can see here which is uh, pretty much fine and refresh it and which is not uh, important for our device because this display only supports 60 hertz so no issues on that and if you click nothing and you guys can change dpi here no problem double tag working no problem and configuration center here the use customization and status board we have clock, logo, brightness control, double tap to sleep on the status bar. Everything just working pretty much fine. And network speed, you guys can see working pretty much fine. No problem. And icon style, you guys can change whatever you want. And battery bar, you guys can customize. And system status icons, you guys can change. No problem. And quick settings toggle, we have all those things. You guys can change columns, rows, whatever you want. And title, title whatever. And setting icons and auto brightness icons you guys can enable all those things and lock the screen as usual uh, what we had earlier and here we have the ambient display and which is working pretty much fine let me show you no problem so here is the AOD just enable from the notification toggle just so here you guys can see this is working pretty much fine this is AOD and I don't recommend you guys to use AOD uh, it will uh, it will consume more battery so now what we have buttons and navigation system navigation gesture so here you guys can customize and you guys can see I'm using the large uh, 
uh, navigation peel button like MIUI so you guys can enable this one and just uh, gesture bar just enable this one so it will change I am using the whole so it will get longer so length you guys can change the length no problem in terms of notification is faster quicker and everything is just in time no issues and in screen you guys can change the value if you want to but don't recommend and media here is the playback music visualization you guys can enable music visualization effect here if you instead of that navigation peel bar you guys can enable that one or you guys can enable on lock screen whatever you want the position is here is that one thing you guys can change the location lock screen solid lines custom whatever you need you can change while playing music <coughs> then miscellaneous uh, we have gaming mode you guys can see you guys can enhance your gaming experience but I played Call of Duty and that was not uh, sufficient for me I was not uh, convinced actually uh, a little bit laggy so that's why I don't recommend to play PUBG M and COD M no nothing and if you guys can play other games like Free Fire easily no problem no issues on that and if you are not a gamer but you want performance and a good battery life then blindly you guys can use this ROM for your daily life no issues on that and it's pretty much faster and stable room you guys can see and it's really cool and it's faster RAM management is just pretty much fine no issues whatever you guys can want you guys I am uh, here using so many applications and st uh, including Call of Duty you guys can see but no lags I didn't get any lags and it's faster I got one bug only and which is uh, FPS and here is the FPS info it's turned on but not working uh, only this one and I don't think it's a deal breaker it's not a deal breaker so you guys can easily use uh, FPS info is not important thing so and it will be fixed in next update so you guys can easily uh, update uh, you guys can easily OTA update no problem and I rooted already and let me show you that safety net is passed no issues and RAM management is really cool I checked it earlier but it still is in RAM so no problem and so many applications I am using here and let me show you the Geekbench score here so here is the history you guys can see I ran it for two times when battery charge was less than 50% then I got poor performance and while charge was uh, a, uh, above 80% that is the performance you guys can see single core is 262 and multi core 1012 so I think this is not bad actually and this is cool in Android 11 so that's why its performance is good and no issues and let me show the screenshots I see throttling So here is the CPU throttling, 88% of its max performance you guys can see, which is really really cool. Nothing to worry about that. And you guys can see here I'm using Dolby Atmos and it's working pretty much fine without any issue. So I already provided that video. If you guys haven't watched that video yet, then check out the description. And here Google camera is working pretty much fine and this Google camera also works in Android 12 if you want to use on Android 12 no problem you guys can easily use and I will review another Google camera so no issues on that and after this video you guys will get that one as well no problem and here is the toggles you guys can uh, get CPU info and uh, switch data for there no problem and key lab button if you want then you guys can add and here is the CPU info and you guys can see it's working no problem and that's the video guys and if you guys really like that video then do subscribe and hit the bell icon and never miss the further update